All right, so this is card number two here. So once again, the very first step is to die cut the flowers. And this is the set that we're gonna be using for this one here. So I've got my dies already um, on my Big Shot. I'm gonna put my watercolor paper over. For this one, because we're using embossing glaze over top, you don't have to use watercolor paper. You can use whatever paper you like because we're going to completely cover it and it doesn't have any moisture or anything. I just used the watercolor because I was cutting everything all at once and figured why not just use the same stuff here. So I'm leaving as much as possible inside the die. There's one piece there that um, put those guys over there. There's one piece there that stayed in the die that we'll pick out. Where's my die pick right there? And once again, for this one, it's easiest to glue everything together before we do the glaze on top, or the embossing glaze on top. So again, these are exactly the same as the last set, just different images. So any place that let me rephrase this. So when we are <laughs> adding the die cuts on top of each other, there's an indent exactly where they're supposed to go. So there's no guesswork as to what piece goes where. And you can poke out all the little bits first or you can do them after, it really doesn't matter. Sometimes I'll poke them out first, sometimes I'll leave them. Nothing gets glued on top of it so it doesn't interfere with anything at all. And you can tell I'm not putting glue on every single part. I typically we'll put glue on any of the pieces that stick out. But because we're going to be putting embossing glaze over top of this, it's going to encase the whole thing. So you're not going to have pieces that are lifted up, sticking out, that are going to catch on anything anyways. All right, that guy is done. I will pick out the little pieces later. This one here, the only thing left is this little bit. And if you wanted, you could hold them with tweezers while putting them together, whichever works best for you. Some people like to do it with tweezers and some people don't. These leaves are going to stay just as is. I'm going to take this. No, I'm not going to take the centers out of those. I'm going to take the little bits out of the flowers, but I'm leaving the centers in the leaves. And I just find by leaving the pieces in the die cut, it helps me to be able to see exactly what part goes with which. Whereas if all the pieces fall out or I take them all out, then it takes a little bit to sort them. But whatever works for you. So any of these pieces that are being glued on top that have a little cutout, I do take those out ahead of time because once they're glued down, you won't be able to do that. And you may not want them out. You may want to leave them in there as a detail and that's totally fine. But for right now, I am taking them out. Some of these pieces are quite tiny and those pieces it might be easier to grab a pair of tweezers to hold it. And also because we're doing embossing glaze on top of this, you're not going to see a lot of the um, the lines and the details. So if by chance you don't get one perfectly placed, that's totally fine. No one will ever know but you. And once again, this will work with any flower die cut these techniques. I just liked these ones because they were all layered. I liked the images. There we go. 
and two more pieces and then we will let them dry. Oh, you know what? I want to put this one in here first because I want it behind that little petal thing there. There we go. I want this to look like a petal in front of the those little pieces there. They're moving around on me. There we go. There we go. All right, I'm going to give these a few minutes for the glue to dry, and then we will go on to the next step. 